There are over 5 million Americans who have Alzheimer's disease, a number that is expected to rise to 14 million by 2050. So what is Alzheimer's disease? Alzheimer's disease is a degenerative brain disorder that gradually destroys memory and cognitive functioning. There is no cure for Alzheimer's and eventually results in death. Alzheimer's is fairly new to medical literature. The first case was recorded by Dr. Eloise Alzheimer, a German psychiatrist, in 1901. Dr. Alzheimer noted changes in the brain tissue of a woman who had this disease. He found both amyloid plaques, or irregular clumps, and neurofibrillary tangles, or bunched up fibers, in his patient's brain. Today, doctors agree that both these physical changes are typical of Alzheimer's. Doctors have also learned that patients' nerve cells die and nerve connections are disrupted, leading to decreased memory and thinking. Alzheimer's disease is a type of dementia, a group of disorders in which loss of brain cells leads to diminished mental function. Symptoms vary by individual and the progression of the disease, but most people with Alzheimer's experience degenerative memory loss and difficulty performing basic tasks. Many people with the disease often experience behavioral changes, rapid mood swings, and loss of initiative. These symptoms, which are characteristic of the disease, can strike anyone. In 1994, former President Ronald Reagan joined the ranks of those diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Reagan died of Alzheimer's disease at 93 years of age. Scientists haven't yet found the reason why brain cells fail and amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles develop, but there are several factors that can increase a person's chance of developing this disease. The greatest risk factor is age. Most people with the disease are 65 or older. For people over 85, the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease rises to almost 50%. Another risk factor is the patient's family history. Those who have a grandparent, parent, or sibling with Alzheimer's are more likely to develop the condition themselves. Similarly, scientists know that genes play a role in the disease. A strong link between head injury and Alzheimer's disease has also been established. Brain health is connected to heart health, so high blood pressure, heart disease, high cholesterol, and stroke can all increase the chances of developing this form of dementia. Because Alzheimer's can strike anyone, it's important to be aware of the symptoms and risk factors and to seek immediate treatment if you are experiencing abnormal memory loss or sudden personality changes. Want to learn more? Check out other videos and sources on this site for more information.